Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be another hair video, but I wanted to do like a vlog with you guys, spend a day with me, a day in my life vlog, what not. So right now it is currently like one something. I'm literally just going through my, like my, um, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm so tired. I'm literally going through my hair bag i don't know if you got if you girls have if you girls have a hair bag but i basically have a hair bag where i keep all my hair dyes all my bleach creams all that or like a hair container hair bag i know if you do if you do if you like to color hair if you like to bleach hair do hair i know you have a hair bag i'm gonna be working with arabella hair arabella sent me this body wave 13 by 4 frontal and this is how it looks it is so bouncy y'all like it is so bouncy your girl does not have no red dye so like i'm currently going through my little bag dye and i cannot find red dye to save my life this is the color that like i'm trying to go for but there's like barely any dye inside here and i thought i had red dye because i have i've had a red wig before as you can see i've had a red wig so i thought i had more red dye but it looks like i don't so i'm probably gonna take y'all with me to the beauty supply store so i can get some stuff your girl bought some motherfucking seafood yesterday i bought some seafood i bought some seafood yesterday i bought some seafood yesterday i'm about to finish it up i did not finish it yesterday i never finished my seafood on the first encounter people who finish their all their seafood y'all are fucking fucking fat <laughs> Now, let me chill because I'm big. But I like to eat. You can see. But, bitch, I don't never finish my seafood. I feel like, I personally feel like if you finish your seafood, you can motherfucking eat. Because when I get seafood, I get a pound of crawfish, a pound of sausage, like four potatoes, two corns, and if I'm feeling rich, some crab legs. And I've had, like, friends finish that shit all in one, like, one sitting. And that is mad fucking weird, but... I didn't even get a lot of seafood yesterday. I literally just got crab legs. I stopped getting crawfish because crawfish season is so out of out of style, out of luck, out of everything. And I'm not gonna be getting these little tiny baby ass crawfishes and the meat be this big. <laughs> like hell no. Nah. Yesterday all I got was crab legs, a pound of sausage, corn, two corns, and I think four potatoes. I ate all my potatoes, but I did not finish my crab legs. And I did not finish my sausage. And then I also did not boil no eggs yesterday. So what I'm, I have some eggs boiling on the stove right now. I'm about to eat that. And then I'm going to get ready to go to the beauty supply store so I can get the dye that I was talking to you guys about. We can do this video. So this is what we got planned today. We're going to eat. Go to the beauty supply store. Film the process of me doing this wig. I have so much homework to do today. It's not even funny. So I am definitely going to take y'all with me to my campus. Y'all go out with me to the engineer building, y'all. Y'all go out with me to the <sighs> And today I'm going to tell you, like, you know what it's like going to an HBCU. My lips are so chappy, y'all. I just woke up. I'm going to tell you guys what it's like going to HBCU. I'm going to tell you guys my schedule. I'm going to show you guys the building area. I'm really not going to show you guys the campus because I don't have that time or energy. And then I'm going to go to the gym at night. And I got to be in the gym by 830 so i gotta basically knock out everything that i just told y'all by seven let's get started let's let, let, let's get it started Okay, guys, so I'm outside. I'm on campus, all right, or whatnot. Decided, ugh, the lighting is so bad here. I'm sorry, y'all. I decided to go to the beauty supply on campus instead of the one that's like 10 minutes away. Better have what I want because I'm not going to be happy if they don't or whatnot. It's so hot outside. So fucking hot. <laughs> 
Y'all know we in Texas. Y'all know wintertime don't start till like January. <laughs> but I'm not gonna lie though, it has been getting a little a little chilly at night. I can't cap. But during the day, baby, that sun do be hot. So guys, I'm currently home right now. I'm bleaching the knots of the wig or whatnot. I did pick up from the store a 40 developer. I do Hey. I feel like I'm Megan every time I say A like that. Hey. Hold on y'all. This is so ghetto what I'm doing. If y'all were like in my room, y'all will unsubscribe if y'all see the way I have this phone propped up. I don't have it on no tripod, no ring light, no nothing. If y'all see the way I have this phone propped up, y'all will unsubscribe. I don't know funny shit. I'm too lazy to bring out my tripod right now. Bring it out when I really start doing the hair. But currently I am bleaching the knots or whatnot. Let me show you guys what I got from the beauty supply store. I didn't get a lot of stuff. I'm always in the beauty supply store as of lately, ever since I started doing hair videos. So I kind of, I'm like in the beauty supply store once or twice every week, once or once or twice every two weeks i'm in the beauty supply store so i don't really be having to buy stuff in a bundle i got some eco some eco style, uh styler this is the crystal one and this one is for all hair types and i prefer the clear eco styler gel more than the um regular green one that every girl has i don't know this one just works better on my real hair and on my wig so i use it sometimes to swoop my baby hairs what I used to swoop my baby hairs today was this um, Argan Oil Softy. This shit is so good. Like, but I'm out and I and um, I didn't buy this at a beauty supply store. Um, my school was like giving free free hair products out one year. I bought shit in a. I didn't buy it. Like they were giving out free hair products, and that's like the the perks of going to an HBC, they relate to you. So like there was a day in the MSC and if you guys don't know what the MSC is called, the MSC is like the cafe of our school. And if you guys don't know what school I go to, I do go to Prairie View or whatnot, A&M University. And there was one day in the MSC, I stopped by to get some food and tell me why a table outside the MSC, they had literally like, they had this, they had little, like they had um, eco stylers, but like, you know, the little travel size tubes. They had wig caps. They had little tiny got to be um, bottles, the travel size ones. What did they have? Bobby pins. They had so much shit just spread out on the table. And they were basically telling us, grab anything. <laughs> Bitch, I grabbed it all. I grabbed it all. I grabbed it all. I was looking at me and he was just, because it was a guy who was like in charge of it. So like the girl told me, she was like, you can grab whatever you want. I said, oh, bitch, you got to tell me twice. Bitch, you don't even got to tell me twice. Bitch, I grabbed it all. Bitch I'm, <laughs> bitch, I'm stuffing everything in my bag. I'm stuffing everything in my bag. I'm stuffing everything in my bag. Tell me why the black guy looked at me and he was like, nah, baby. Hey, when I heard nah, baby, bitch, I knew I was in trouble. Mind you, I'm like this. All I hear is not baby. I said, yeah. He said, now nah, you know you got to leave some for the rest of your, your fellow Panthers. You guys don't know what Panthers are. Panthers. Y'all know. That's our, that's our, um, that's our animal. <laughs> what is that shit called? That's our spirit animal. What the fuck? What is that shit called that your school has? That's our, that's our logo. That's our animal. We're Panthers. But yeah. He was like, you know you gotta leave that for the rest of your Panthers. I said, I'm so sorry, sir. This lady here told me I could grab whatever I want. He was like, now you can grab whatever you want, but baby, don't finish it all. I said, I promise you I won't. Mind you, I, I said, I promise you I won't while still stuffing more in my bag. Mind you guys, this was in 2019. We are at the end of 2021, and this is 
the last product from that bag. You guys could only imagine how much shit I stuffed in my bag. And y'all know that bag that I was showing you earlier with all the hair dyes? That was the bag that the girl gave to me. Do you know how big that bag is? Hold on, I'm gonna go and show y'all. Bitch, the bag is this big. Thumbnail. The bag is that big. And, and, and you mean to tell me that y'all motherfuckers thought I wasn't gonna fill that bitch up? Oh, no, 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 no. I just fill it up, 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 up. Oh, I filled the bag up or whatnot. I, I turned, I, that's how this bag ended up turning into my hair bag. Cause I ended up filling all the bags up. But going to an HBCU is very fun. And I would have not chose any other school other than PV. I feel like PV was made for me. Um, I would not been happy if I was at a PW. I'ma just be real. Culture. I don't know, just seeing everybody that looks like you. And like, you know, I know there are some HBCUs where there's still like a lot of white people on campus or like Hispanic people. But at PV, I'm going to be real with you. This is not a diverse school. When we say this is a HBCU, this is a HBCU. Funny part about it is like PV is in the middle of like a redneck um, city. You live in a redneck city. So like outside of PV, it's nothing but white people. <laughs> And like when we go to Walmart and stuff like that, the white people be staring at us and shit like that. This is a, we live in a white area. Like we live in a predominantly white area. Um, the only the only reason why like there's black people out here is because there's an HBCU out here. Other than that, it would not be black people out here. A very redneck city. Um, whenever I go to Bucky's, white people are always staring at me. Um, if you guys don't know what Bucky's is, it's like this big ass gas station. It's like a pit stop for like people who are traveling and shit like that. And white people would just be looking at bitch. I'll be looking back at them because what? Who gonna pop me? Yeah, bitch, I'm here. <laughs> I'm here. I'm here. Fuck. But yeah, going to an HBCU is fun. And I will advise all my black beautiful babies to go to an HBCU. It, it, it's just something different about an HBCU. Like even the school, like the way the teachers teach. You're more connected with the teachers, your grades. Like, I know people that went to PWIs and they, like, their experience and my experience when it comes to school were two different things. Not even just the teachers. Like, I've heard people that go to PWIs, like, their fellow classmates don't be trying to give them the answers. They be hoeing. Like, that don't be happening at um, HBCUs. Now, not all the time. I mean, I'm not going to lie. Everybody has those kids who feel like that. You know, they 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 gonna be the presidents of the United States. You know, the motherfuckers be trying to hold off on answers and be trying to hold off with help. There's more kids that help at an HBCU than don't help, if you get what I mean. So, I advise all y'all to go to HBCU and the parties are bomb as fuck. All my friends have, have been gone or whatnot. I don't really have nobody that I'm cool with anymore here. But, it's my senior year. I keep myself busy. Um... Sometimes I do be bored, I can't cap, but I keep myself busy. I do not fall into my boredom. I am always filming. You guys are always messaging me, so you guys keep me afloat. Uh, right now, I'm not on social media, but for the most part, I be on social media. I'm not gonna lie, I am on Twitter, but I'm not really on like uh, Instagram and Snap right now, but I be on social media. I watch TV, I love to watch TV. Um, I go out on the weekend sometimes, but not like to PV events. I, I might go to the club in Houston or whatnot. But, um, and I work out. I work out a lot. I've implemented in my schedule that I should work out at the very least five times a week. So I'm always busy. Like, even though I'm not doing much this year, as far as like PV activities, your girl stay busy. So your girl don't have to be busy. No, I'm just playing. I'm always busy or whatnot. I'm ready to get the hell out of here. Like, I'm ready to go. Like, I'm ready to dip out this bitch. I've had good experience as PV. At PV, I've had bad experiences at, at PV, like, but this was a journey. I loved it. I loved it or whatnot. I'm just ready to go. I'm, I'm like, I'm ready to get out of college. Like, I'm most likely going to go uh, for my master's, but it ain't going to be right after I graduate. It's probably going to be like five years later or some shit.
need a break from school. Let me show y'all what I got from the beauty supply store. I just got so off topic. Okay, wow. I got that and I also got my little 40 developer. I have developer already, but I have 30 developer. And not gonna lie, 30 developer gets on my nerves. Like that bitch be taking forever to develop. Like, come on, bitch, develop, develop. You're not a fucking baby inside my womb. Why the fuck are you taking nine months for the knots to bleach? And then I ended up getting the ruby red. So we're gonna be using the ruby wet red to dye this hair today. I low-key want to mix the ruby red with the pink mania and put some white conditioner to make it lighter. I know some people are like, what the fuck are you talking about? But I'm going to explain it all when I dye the hair. I'm going to show the process as much as me of me installing the hair. I feel like you guys see me installing hair every other day. So yeah, I'm ready for the knots to bleach. I'm about to turn on you. Let Y'all let me know if y'all watching you. Also, y'all, I really like vlogging, right? But, um... I need a camera. I need to buy a camera. So I'm shopping for a camera currently. I'm looking for like cameras to buy. I'm most likely going to have a camera by December. The camera or whatnot. It's hot in this bitch. The fuck? Hey, get out. Get out, Satan. Hot. But um, I am going to be vlogging. And I am going to be participating in Vlogmas. But with a twist. Bitch, I'm not, bitch, I'm not posting every day. That's just not me. I'm, I'm trying to be a realistic person. And I thought to myself, I'm like, Irene, do you want to post every day? But then I really thought about it. And I'm like, bitch, you ain't posting every day. Like, who you, who, 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 who think you fooling? Like, you're not posting every day. Let's, let's keep it a buck. You're not posting every day. So I am going to be participating in Vlogmas, but bitch, with the days I choose to post. So I'm going to try as much to give you guys so much content in December. It's not going to be every day, but I'm going to try my best to give you guys a lot of content. I feel like I'll be slacking with my content, but I'm going to get, be getting in, in some more vlogging, like days in my life, like how I'm doing right now. I said y'all love the vlogs, and I'm so happy that y'all love the vlogs, because I love telling story times, but sometimes I be wanting to just talk to y'all motherfuckers. I like talking. I talk to myself. <laughs> so, bitch, sometimes I be, and like, I make myself laugh when I talk to myself. So, bitch, sometimes I be wanting to put the camera in front of myself so you guys could see how I think. Because if you guys really hang out with me every day, y'all be like, man, this bitch got a whole bunch of missing screws. And I won't take it into offense because, bitch, I low-key do. But, um, <laughs> yeah, let me, I'm, I'm, kind, I'm quite done rambling. I'm about to watch uh, you. And then in the next clip, you guys are going to see me doing the hair and installing it. Okay, so boom, let's get it started. So I'm doing the watercolor method with this hair um, because the hair was kind of like 1B. And I wanted the hair to be jet black. The hairs is not like um, bleach. So what I did was, it looks so ghetto. I ended up taking the, the strips that I do for a given fact that I was going to be bleaching and just holding it. And then dipping the rest of the hair in hot water along with that jet black color from the Kiss Collection. And um, some of the hair that I did, what am I saying? What am I saying right now? What point was I trying to prove? I don't know what I'm trying to say, to say the least. But I know what I'm trying to say. What am I saying? Okay, no, 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 no. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. Because I was trying to figure out how... Um, guys, I was trying to figure out how my hair got bleached. And I didn't bleach nothing. But I did bleach the knots. So I ended up bleaching the knots. And you guys already know the hair ended up bleaching with itself. So I went back in with the jet black. And I just ended up like putting the black on top of wherever the bleach spots were. And then I ended up bleaching the spots where I wanted the hair to be red. So I used my 40 to volume developer. I did put it in aluminum foil. Um, putting the hair that is already bleached in aluminum foil just helps the hair bleach faster and more efficient rather than just letting the hair sit out without no aluminum foil. So keep that in mind. Then I ended up taking my ruby red. Now guys, I did not show this in the clip, but I did um, mix a little bit of ruby red. And there's this color called Pink Mania from the Kiss Collections. I mixed up, I mixed them together because I did not want the hair to be too red. I wanted the hair to kind of be reddish, pinkish, like, you know, that I didn't want it to be fiery red. And this is the color that I ended up getting after bleaching the hair. Y'all, please use gloves. The whole of my hands were like red and pink and stuff. Use gloves. Even when you're bleaching hair, please use gloves because it's not safe to bleach hair and not use gloves especially if you're a beginner but um i was just being very like lazy and rebellious when it came to that 
So I am going to be taking the Kiss Creed Foundation and that's in the shade Almond and I use that for my ball cap method and I also use that to put on my lace of the wig and then you guys will see me installing the rest of the wig. I'm not talking no more. I'm tired of talking. Bye guys. So guys, this is the final look. My camera cut off while I was curling the wig. But this is the final look or whatnot. I'm about to run my my um, curler through the wig again. Just some hair. But I really wanted the curls to be very like effortless kind of or whatnot. So not trying to have the curls tight or whatnot, but you know, um, it's losing some bounce or whatnot, but my camera did cut off while I was um, curling the wig or whatnot. I'm so happy with this look, y'all. This look is beautiful. This look is beautiful. This look is so fucking beautiful. I'm happy. I did good. My room is such a mess from filming this video. So y'all gonna come help me clean when it's done with? That's the most y'all can do. I mean, the least y'all can do. Yeah, y'all can do more. Or whatnot and I typically I just flat iron the hair away from my face or whatnot I find that it's way prettier when I do that rather than flat iron it towards my face and if you guys don't know I'm not really good with flat iron here flat ironing this is not flat iron I'm not really good with curling hair I'm not really that good with curling hair so you guys gonna get what you get um, of course, there's more red on this side. I know like this whole side here looks red and then this side look like black and like a little streak of red. <laughs> um, I know I told you guys that I ended up taking like a huge chunk in the back and curling and um, dyeing it red as well. One side, I wanted it to be different or whatnot. I'm still curling the hair, y'all. This is probably one of the most prettiest hairs that I have ever done in a while i'm really happy with this install i'm like i'm so happy i'm so late to the engineering building i'm about to get ready to go to the engineering building or whatnot but like i told you guys before this hair is from arabella hair and this is their body weight i'm not gonna lie to you guys i do think this hair is a 360 frontal this is not like a ear to ear because the whole head had lace through it so this is a 360 frontal keep that in mind i don't even know if they say it is a 360 frontal um 
but yeah this is a 360 frontal and i do not remember getting a 360 frontal but i'm gonna go back and check and i'll let y'all know i'll put it put it somewhere here if it's a 360 frontal i'm gonna say yes if it's not i'm gonna say no but like i said before being that i put this hair through so much bs this hair barely freaking sheds and there's hair all over my room from like tweezing and cutting and all that but as far as like the brush this hair barely sheds and the hair is super duper thick like the hair is so thick and it's so bouncy like it went through a lot but shit it don't even look like it and whatnot and i'm really happy with this the red is like i don't know like i'm trying to get in close so you guys can see what i'm talking about the red is not really a red it's like a a dirty red or like a pinkish type of red but i don't know i'm really happy with this I'm, I'm just happy with this look this is probably one of my best my best hair installs that i've ever done i'm done rambling let's go to the engineering building or oh, what not nah. I can't believe they already got out the Christmas lights. PB don't waste no time when it comes to Christmas. But y'all be on campus. Ooh, that light. Stop, stop. My subscribers' eyes can't see. Oh, look. Hey, you got pulled over. And they're bad. Y'all was pulling somebody over here. But, um, yeah, y'all. We are on campus. Campus looks very dry. It looks like they only put lights up in the front. Because usually like it's supposed to be lights all here like christmas well there's some christmas lights over there i don't know if you guys can see them yeah there's some christmas lights over there so guys this is the engineering building i know this looks so dark i really wish i like like could show you guys this shit during the daytime but like yeah they're building a new engineering building here so I'll, I'll be gone though by the time they finish you. I think they said that it's gonna be done in 23. So guys, I finally made it to the engineering building. I'm at the computer here. Oh, and not. I really just wanna play. I really don't wanna do anything. I really just wanna walk around and look pretty. Yeah, guys, I'm trying to get some good lighting for y'all. Oh, this is not bad. But yeah, guys, look at this hair. Like I wanted to show you guys the hair outside of the ring light. So you guys can see that this hair is popping even in the natural light. Like, baby, this ain't no, this ain't no motherfucking gimmick. I'm gonna call it a night. I'm about to do my work and I will see you guys in the morning so I can showcase for you guys when I go to the gym. Okay guys, so I'm in my apartment's gym. I told y'all I was gonna go to the gym. Told y'all niggers. We're got it. So I can have a slim waist. I already got a fat ass, so I just need a slim waist. I'll showcase when I go to the gym again. I'm only doing this for myself, cause like I said before, y'all, if I don't do this, I'm not going to work out. <laughs> I'm gonna say, man, these niggas don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I'll see you guys again when I go um, back to the gym or whatnot. So guys, I'm currently home and I'm sorry for the light and I just don't feel like turning on the lights. But I did find out that I do have homework that's due today so I cannot go to the gym again. But I'm just happy that I went in the morning and whatnot. If you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you guys want more vlogs. If you guys want to know about what I do more on campus, let me know down below. Like I said, I will leave all the information to this hair. I still have the hair installed and yes, y'all i went to the gym with this hair i went to the gym with this hair y'all and i sweat it like a motherfucker and the scalp is it's lifting a little bit but bitch is trying it's fucking trying so i will leave the information to this hair down below if you guys want to go and purchase this hair and i will see you guys in the next one and i'm so sorry for this light and this is so unprofessional but i don't want to get up and turn on the light <laughs> i'm about to take like a little nap and then i got work due so yeah guys bye